Kadiga? I'm not sure how you how you meant to. I'll just say Kadiga because that it seems like it's meant to be. The FPS is dropping down. But yeah, four years this game has been out. Um, from what I've seen on the Steam thing, the anniversary should be the 14th, but you know, everyone's telling me to do it on the 7th, so that's when I'm doing it. Um, new DLC for this is coming out pretty soon too. Curious to see what that is. I I only know the name of it really. It's the um the Lost Broadcast is gonna be called. I don't know when that's gonna probably like to a radio station or <coughs> something like that. The main story like this one is designed very differently where like doesn't really have a set in stone story it's kind of like his story is um you get certain different characters it gets the scenario why they met together in this specific house one of two houses this is the first one i believe i, I think it might have to be three houses but i'm not getting other girls selected don't press the button I haven't searched a house first before I worry about um, building anything. I always want to fix on building. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab that. But like the the story for this one is is kind of just like it's made by the sequence of events that you decide to do or maybe not do. Um, throughout the course of events that happen in the game. It kind of gives you like, um, what are, what are these Polaroid um, snapshots at the end? And it kind of has a details of like, this is what you chose when this event played out. You know, maybe you went to this place, decided to kill someone, or maybe some kids knock on the door and they're like, oh, well, we want medicine and stuff like that. Depending on your action there, it's, it's like the Polaroid and it tells you what happened there. But like in the stories it's like there's a it's very um linear so it's actually like you're a father of these kids or whatever and you're you're looking for them it's for them. Uh, so i i guess there's more depth that can be put in specifically for those people in the situation stories which i admire but i from a gameplay perspective i generally like when it's a story that i can weave it specifically to me and my taste and my own experiences but you know storytelling wise it it's only got so much depth that you can really put into it especially when you're trying to portray a certain thing like um the struggles of war which this really does try to do from the uh, not so much military man but the everyday man stuck in the war war torn city and all that Sky winded, fuck. Hey, when this sort of I do have a couple mods on, so they will make things a bit easier for me. I do tend to um cheese this game a bit, won't lie. Because this war of mine is actually a pretty hard game, and I'm not known to be able to do strategy games too well, so I take as much advantage as I can. I generally hate um, strategy games. I mean, that lockpick up there is just so I can try and lockpick something out, so that's probably best left. That one looks like we can at least get something from him. Very um. I 
the investment. No, really? Yeah, I can. Alright, generally I like to upgrade it as much as I can quickly. Because it gets harder to get resources later on. I think actually getting certain things isn't as hard then. Actually, that's short on materials for that. Generally, I like to board up the home because it gets fucking painful when you've only got like three people and you have to protect your home and go out at night. I like to board up as much as I can. At least get all three holes concealed. Uh, there's multiple different ways you can play through this to get the ending. I appreciate when games allow that. Multiple different ways of, to succeed, multiple different strategies and shit. Um, that doesn't have any. Does it? You have to scavenge for that, I guess. not really too helpful. I've already heard everything from her. Can't board up. Cooking meat, I feel, is kind of useless, really. Um, what is this? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep both of those. We've already got a chair. Workshop could be handy. Weapons with the workshop boost, though. Yeah, fuck, I'll just use it on time. Yeah, I'll leave him to sit down then. What else? can take bandages with what it is for. I don't really remember because it's been a while since I've played really. Um, was that a locked door? I can't even remember. I remember one of these was locked. I think it was this one. at the front. Maybe just the title card thing. God, this can be a long way. Yeah. I mean, you can read up about that, but... Generally, you just want to look at the orange. Uh, you can't really see my cursor, can you? Yeah, so you just look at the orange thing off to the right rather than actually read up about the decrepit squat. Or the homeless one, yeah. I'm not ready for a trade yet. So that generally trade places, you can't get much out of it. There's no point to bring in any of that. Any place lost to. I feel like this is, I'm pretty sure this is a house that has people in it every time I come to this one. So like, as it's blurred out because the door's shut, I can't tell if there's people actually there, so I have to book that. Apparently. 
that door is not closed. Say we go down here, might even get some trunk on the way. It's for right and it's for. Probably shouldn't have double clicked, but fucking one ass. I hate when I can't just click fake all. That's pretty fucking useless, that shit. I did need gears for something, didn't I? What was that again? Okay. I'll just check if anyone's here before I fucking... Oh yeah, this is, this does have someone for their friend, like. Yep. God, I don't even remember going far from the yep. Uh, because you, um, have a staircase at some point. I'm just fucking run out of here. <laughs> Why would you just open the door and go straight ahead? Why would you bother? What else? Remember there's a hidden stash here too if you want. Um, give the hobo some food. I'll go back to this point actually just for some meds. We've been raided, yeah. That happens really often if you don't have weapons or you cover up the thing. And they stole all our food, great. Great, 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 great. Alright, um, hungry top head. Hungry you slept poorly, we did. I don't fucking care if you slept poorly. Yeah, that's right, the pills are just if they're sick, not if they're wicked. Um. That's the thing that I wanted to make. Because you can just break through everything now. Very well. I generally recommend making these out of books if you can, just because you can't really use the books for anything else, so you might as well use it for fire. At some point I will need to make a heat in there. For now it's best to board up the holes. Fucking idiot, just use a fucking crowbar. Two of the three holes all done. See if I can get that third one. Jesus, please, and your food is detrimental. Like, it's the most important thing of everything is getting your food. One of your threes. She can just break through that. Up. Right, so what do I need? 
grenade I need for food. A wooden plank for a bed. And bandages. Yep. Drawing because I fucking hate just sitting around and waiting for a big three minutes of this. Yep. I hate going to a military outpost. And fuck the sniper junction. Just, just fuck it. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do it like that. I don't have any. If I had food, I'd stack that. But because they're gonna ask me for food, that way, boy. But yeah, you can use a crowbar as a weapon, just to equip it, and bam. Oh my god, his health bar is fucking terrible. No wonder he's crouched over. I was a bit worried he might actually be low on health. It sucks that the only way to tell where the health is, though, is like when they're on scavenge. Like, you can't actually check it anywhere. Like, between... Like when you're at home, I'd say between levels, but you know, that kind of is a level in itself when you're at the house. Oh my god. He's limping so fucking slow. He has to like drag his other fucking foot. Alright, I do need planks of wood. Damn it, the thing didn't work. And you have to saw through those bars. I almost never get the swords for that. Mm. Nope. And then I'll just go over here for now. It looks like a biker with a little thing on his back. That's for store background story of this place. Um, same for that. I've already seen it all. I haven't gotten the um, background images yet. For that charity DLC I got. Might as well stack up four of them. Why not? Come on, bandages, bandages, anyone. Good evening, sir. Could you, I'm very hungry. Could you please help me? Um, does they have anything? Because that's a trade icon, so I can't remember if you can take anything from them. can actually be pretty important, especially for trading. I don't even care for the shell casings of the shell itself. Oh, wait, actually, I'll, I'll talk to him first. Oh, uh, I never really... Yeah, is it she? No. Don't recall her having anything before, so... She does give you something, um... Is there any diamonds? I can't remember if it changes really, but... These usually will steal that ammo before I get a gun. Most of my playthroughs I don't even get a fucking gun anyway, so... It's pretty hard to get a gun, honestly. Yeah, I need food for myself, like, come on, dude. But yeah, in the top left where it says 2, 9, 11 p.m., you, you need to leave before that clock reaches zero. 
It's got a little red zone. You notice as well. I can open this door. Alright, so it wasn't wasn't locked or anything, right? Thought it was. Well, no bandages means I'm gonna have to go somewhere entirely different next time. Let's just fucking leave. Alright. Just gonna have to check everything I can for now. Save them bundles, the fool. Cadaver of his world. Don't worry about that. 